This first set of videos will give you an introduction to robotics. Here, we'll cover some of the basics that you need to know in order to understand the things that we'll be doing later in this class. I'll be giving you an introduction to the different kinds of studies into which we divide the topic of robotics. I'll be introducing some new terminology and we'll also be talking about some basics of robot manipulator design like how many degrees of freedom your robotic manipulator should have, what are some of the different kinds of standard manipulators, and how to draw diagrams of robot manipulators that you can use to do robot analysis. In this class, we'll be looking at the four different fundamental robotics topics, which are listed here as kinematics, single joint control, the use of sensors, which includes machine vision, and path planning and artificial intelligence. I'm now going to give you a very brief overview of what each of these topics means. When we get to the beginning of each of these topics throughout the class, I'll give a more in-depth explanation of what the topic covers. First of all, you can understand why these four topics are the four fundamental uh, robotics topics by making an analogy between these four robotics topics and the systems of the human body. In robotics, the study of kinematics is the area that uh, roughly corresponds to the human skeletal system. Kinematics is the area of study in robotics that is concerned with the links and the joints of the robot. The links and joints in the robot are the parts that transfer mechanical energy. Links provide some structural rigidity for the robot. I've shown a picture here of a simple robotic manipulator and I'm going to point out the links and joints in this manipulator. The links are these parts here that I'm pointing at with my cursor. The parts that define the size of the robot and allow mechanical energy to be transferred from the joints, the joints are the parts I'm pointing at right now, to other locations in the robot. The robot joints are the parts that allow links to move relative to other links. So, just as the human skeletal system gives us uh, structural rigidity to uh, stand and move about in the same way the links and joints of a robot manipulator give it structural rigidity and allow mechanical energy to be transferred throughout the robot. And this study of links and joints and how mechanical energy is transferred is called kinematics. The second area of study that I mentioned in the four fundamental robotics topics was single joint control. Each joint of the robot has some kind of actuator that allows that joint to move. The robotic actuators fulfill the purpose of the human muscular system. Most actuators that we will use in robotics convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. By adjusting the electrical properties such as voltage and current, we can adjust the speed, acceleration, and position of the actuators. The problem of single joint control is all about how we pick the right voltages and currents over time in order to produce the motion that we want to achieve with the robotic manipulator. The motion that we want to achieve might be as simple as positioning 
the robot end effector in a position that we want it to be located in, or it might be very complicated, such as achieving smooth motion between one location and another in a particular specified path. And that task of figuring out the correct voltages and currents to achieve the kind of motion that we want is called control. The third area of study in robotics that we'll be looking at is the use of sensors and machine vision. Robotic sensors fulfill the purpose of the human sensory system by converting physical properties like light, sound, temperature, humidity, etc. into electrical properties like current and voltage. When the sensory information given to our robot comes from a visible light camera, then we call the problem machine vision. The problem that we're trying to solve with sensors in robotics is to be able to take the raw information from our sensors and convert it into usable information. In order to do that, we need to pick the right kinds of sensors for our application. We need to locate the sensors in appropriate locations on the robot. We need to capture information from the sensors and we also need to then convert that raw information or, or raw data into usable information for our robot. The last area of study that we'll be looking at in robotics is path planning and artificial intelligence. This is the area of study where we're trying to imitate the human neural system. Our robot will have a microcontroller or a computer that fulfills the purpose of the human brain. We will program this microcontroller or computer to provide an interface between the sensors and the actuators. Our goal will be to program the robot to produce the appropriate motions given the information gathered from the sensors. This can be as simple as programming a robot to pick up an object that is placed before it, or as complex as programming the robot to learn from its experiences and make complicated decisions. This aspect of robotics is known as artificial intelligence, but if it's referring only to the planning the motion of the robot, then it's called path planning. We'll look a little bit both at path planning and at more complex artificial intelligence in this class. In this class, we'll be looking at all four of the fundamental robotics topics, kinematics, single joint control, the use of sensors and machine vision, and path planning and artificial intelligence. But we're going to start today and for the first month or so of class looking specifically at kinematics. In the next video, I'll be introducing you to some robotics terminology, specifically that terminology that's related to the robot's links and joints.